Example 2. Find the matrix C if AB is equal to A plus C. Alright, so matrix A is given as a 2 by 2 matrix of 5, 0, 2, 1. Matrix B is as well another 2 by 2 matrix, negative 1, 2.5, 2, and negative 1 again. Okay, so the first thing that we do is, of course, to go figure out what is this A times B, isn't it? So, of course, we simply copy our A, okay, and then multiply by our B. Alright, so 2.5, I'll prefer to use fraction. Okay, again, it's a personal preference. It's not more correct or more wrong. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Right, it's just that I like fraction more than decimal. Alright, so, how do we go and do this multiplication as per what we have learned earlier on? Okay, the row, first row, multiplied by the first column. Okay, so the first row here, first number is 5, multiplied by minus 1, that will give us minus 5. So minus 5 and uh, that would plus a 0. Okay, so of course the next thing we go, we go to the next column. Okay, so 5 multiplied by 5 over 2, okay, that will give us 25 over 2. Alright, and of course plus another 0 because 0 times minus 1 is a 0. Okay, um, we move on to the next row. Now repeat the same process, the next row, first column. Okay, and then we do the same. Alright, so 2 multiply by negative 1 will give us negative 2 alright so here we have a negative 2 plus and then we have 1 multiply by 2 that will give us a 2 okay so we move on to the next column so we have a 2 multiply by 5 over 2 that will give us a 5 okay and of course a 1 multiply by a negative 1 that will give us a negative 1 okay so the final answer for a b will be alright minus 5 and of course this will give us a 12.5 right and of course this will give us a 0 and this will be a 4 okay so this is our AB okay so we know that this AB is A plus C isn't it since it's the left hand side equals to the right hand side so therefore okay we know that 5 0 2 1 okay plus a matrix C okay will give us the same answer as uh, what we got there, right? So it's minus 5 and then 12.5. Okay, and of course here is a 0 and here's a 4. Right? Okay, now the first thing that we know about this matrix C, okay, would be that uh, it has to be a 2 by 2 matrix and therefore um, this has to be an A, B, C, D. There must be four elements inside this matrix, okay? And therefore to find our A, B, C, D, or rather, uh, in short, just simply the matrix C, where we simply, okay, negative 5, 12.5, and then 0, 4, minus of our matrix A, isn't it? Okay, so we'll get the answer of negative 10, 12.5, and of course this is negative 2, and 3. Okay, so this will be our matrix C.